Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and have you just successfully built a PC, and then you've gone about the process of installing Windows, and everything was going wonderfully smoothly, and you're really pleased with yourself, and then you get into Windows and you find that you've hit a problem because you can't access the internet, the troubleshooter doesn't work, the network won't connect either a Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you just basically can't connect to the internet at all, so although you're in Windows, you can't download any games, you can't access Google, you can't do anything. So you've got a machine that's basically useless in a number of ways and quite frustrating. If that's the case, stick with me because I've got a couple of different solutions which will hopefully be really useful to you and should solve the problem. One of them is fairly obvious and it is the Wi-Fi antennas. So with most modern motherboards, you'll find included with the motherboard a number of Wi-Fi antennas. Usually you'll get two that are either in a stick form like this, or you have two connections that then go into antenna. I'll show you an example of that in a second. These connect to the rear of the motherboard. Once the motherboard is installed in the case, obviously I'm demoing it outside the box just for ease of purpose here. But you can see that these screw into the gold ton contacts on the rear, and they then give you the Wi-Fi signal necessary to connect to the internet. This is especially important if your router isn't nearby, but you may also find that you have a problem with your Bluetooth connection if you've not got this antenna connected. So here you can see another example, it just looks like a little sort of shark fin sticking out. It basically mounts somewhere near your PC and those cables connect up to the rear. Now this may well solve your problem. I hope it's that easy, but you might have other issues. Let's say you've done that and are still not working. Now it could be down to driver complications. So you might find that essentially what you've got is an issue with your LAN or Wi-Fi drivers where they are not present once you've installed Windows and they're missing from the build. And that's obviously a problem because they're not bundled with the motherboard so they're not there. Sometimes you might find a thumb drive included in the box that has them on. If you're not that lucky, you need to get another machine, whether a laptop or someone else's machine, and head over to the manufacturer's website. In this example, I'm showing you a Strix motherboard, but you can obviously do this with any motherboard, Gigabyte, MSI, whatever else. You essentially need to go over to the website, head over to the support pages, and look for the relevant downloads. You'll find a download section, so go driver and tools here, for example, select the operating system, that you have and then you need to look for those download files. This is a pain obviously because it means you need a machine with Wi-Fi or internet already in order to do this. And that's obviously a bit of a downer because you don't have that because you just built it and now you don't have one. So this is a bit of a problem. I'm aware this isn't an easy solution necessarily, but if you can borrow a PC from a friend, that is one option. The other thing that you can do is that you can use your phone. So you could potentially visit these things on your phone then use a USB A thumbstick, or so a thumb drive connected with a USB C dongle, or alternatively get yourself a USB C storage drive and connect that up to your phone. Then unplug that once they've downloaded the files, plug it into your PC that you've just built, and then go obviously in Windows, open up the files, and you need to extract them and then install them. So you go through the process that you can see here, find the files on the drive extract the files, decompress them, and then go about installing the Wi-Fi files, for example. Once you've installed those drivers, you should then find that Windows will recognize the Wi-Fi and it will start to work again. This is a bit of a faff, obviously, and not an ideal thing to have to do. As I said, quick reminder, check your motherboard box because sometimes you get a USB drive included with that. You might well find these drivers on there, or at least an old version of the original drivers. So that's one solution. Now, the other thing I'd recommend is that once you do get the Wi-Fi installed, head over to the Intel support driver assistant. If you've got an Intel motherboard, this is actually the best way to get the latest drivers, in my opinion. And I'll link to it in the description, but it's Intel driver and support assistant. Just head over to that. It'll scan your system and it will download Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers and LAN drivers with relative ease. You can also then just access it from your taskbar and download them there. Hopefully these tips have been useful and good luck with your installation. Thanks for watching. You've made it right to the end of the video, you brilliant legend you. If you've enjoyed it, click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below if you've got any questions. If you really enjoyed it, consider joining the channel and see the benefits of doing so. Check out these other videos. You might well find them interesting or useful. And most importantly, have a great life.